Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Garage Detail Garage. Today, we have something dirty, something neglected that never gets clean, but it always gets driven, a daily driven Toyota Prius. As you guys can see, this Toyota Prius has seen way better days. It has dirt, grime, debris, water spots, and much, much more. But in this video, we're gonna start off with a basic wash because we're gonna bless you guys with a full-on series from start to finish on this Toyota Prius to bring back the shine. Anyways guys, before we get into this video, make sure you drop a huge thumbs up on this video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel because we produce brand new content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, thank you for sharing passion for shine with Chemical Guys. Now let's get back into this video. To start off with this Toyota Prius, we're gonna start off with a two bucket method. By starting off by two bucket method, we're gonna ensure we reduce scratches and swirls while we wash this ride. Even though that this vehicle already has scratches and swirls, I do not want to scratch it up even more. And today I'll be using our brand new Chanel Big Noodle Washment. The reason why I want it is because this car is small, this washment's huge, it has big old noodles, it's going to help me encapsulate tons of dirt, grime, debris away from the surface of the vehicle. So every time I scrub it, I ensure a scratch free shine. And then this will be my perfect washment to use on this occasion. Also, less wipes using the big noodle washment since this vehicle is so small. But before we get into the wash process, let's start off with the Big Mouth Maxxis Foam Cannon. So here at Chemical Guys, we offer different types of equipment that's going to allow you to foam up your ride in different types of way. Whether you have a standard garden hose, we have a Foam Blaster 6 that will be right here. Compared to right now, I'll be using the Big Mouth Maxxis Foam Cannon that works for the pressure washer that'll be right here, or a front right here. So the Big Mouth Maxxis Foam Cannon, like I said, it works for the pressure washer. So you're gonna need a pressure washer with a minimum PSI level of 1,000 and a minimum GPM of 1.6. Like this, you produce tons of suds like we do on our videos at home or anywhere you're washing your ride. Anyways guys, how do you actually set up a Big Mouth Maxxis Foam Can? It's very simple, very easy to use. So all you want to do is just remove the Big Mouth Maxxis Foam Can head and we'll start off with the soap. So the choice of soap today that I went with is going to be Sticky Snowball. The reason why I went with Sticky Snowball is one, this vehicle has tons of dirt, grime and debris on it that I want something that's going to cling hard onto the surface. And every time I wash with my Chanel Washment, which is the big noodle washment, it's going to encapsulate all the dirt, grime, debris. And I have tons of lubrication because this car is filthy, but it gets daily driven a lot. So this is why we went with Sticky Snowball. On the other hand, one of my favorite scents is cherry and it smells just like cherry. So that's why I was also choosing Sticky Snowball today. But before you get into using the product, all you need to do is just shake up the product just to mix it. You'll open up the spout and you'll add one to two ounces of Sticky Snowball inside your foam cannon. So one, two. And if you're not good with diluting your soap, we also offer dilution tips back here on the Big Mouth Maxxis Foam Cannon that allows you to dilute properly. So after you enter your soap, I'll close the spout just to make sure it does not fall, put it off to the side. And then I'll get my Big Mouth Maxxis Foam Cannon head back. I'll reattach it onto the bottle. And once it's already attached, I will not grab it and start shaking it because I do shake it. I'll cause foam inside here and I want less foam inside here and more foam on the surface of the vehicle. So that's why I'm not gonna shake it. Instead, I'm just going to stir it. Before we get into a two bucket method, we're gonna go over what dial does what on the Big Mouth Maxxis Foam Cannon. So let's start off with the big blow bezel. The big blow bezel is going to allow you to adjust your stream, whether you want it super narrow or super wide, just by turning this knob. If you have a super small car, I recommend having it a bit closed, just to have a very tiny but wide fan. If you have a super big truck, you could even close it all the way to the point where it just has a super wide fan. And you wanna get into a nitty gritty, like undercarriages, wheels, just open it all the way up and it's going to stream just like a stream. Now, up top, there's going to be a foam adjustment knob. This foam adjustment knob is going to allow you to adjust your foam while you're foaming. If you want less foam, no foam whatsoever, and all water, just turn it all the way to the left. And this dial is going to allow you to throw no foam whatsoever. If you want a super high sudsy foam like we do on our YouTube videos, just turn it all the way to the right. And once it's already to all the way to the right, you're good to go. It also comes with a universal quick release fitting that's going to attach to a pressure washer wand. In this occasion, in this video, I'll be using our Torx Nubby. Our Torx Nubby is a wand that is compact. So whenever you're dealing with super delicate cars or you're not very good with wide wands, the Torx Nubby is going to be the perfect companion for you. All you need to do is just remove the pressure washer tip. You could attach your foam cannon, make sure the sleeve's back on, and look, it does not fall off. 
and the swivel is going to allow you to move around and your foam cam is going to stay in one place instead of it going all over the place. Anyways guys, now that we went over the big mouth back to foam pan in depth, now it's time to go over the two bucket method. So let me just put this off to the side. So let's get into the two bucket method. The two bucket method, like I told you guys before, is going to have a wash bucket and it's going to have a rinse bucket. And up top, I have dirt traps. These dirt traps are cyclonic filters. These are going to filter any dirty water from clean water. So like this, you have all the dirt, grime, debris sitting on the bottom of your bucket and it will not rise back up. And every time you grab your chenille wash mitt or your big noodle wash mitt and you go back to the surface of your vehicle, you will not scratch it. So what you want to do, you want to always get two different colored dirt traps. If you have one color bucket, the reason why I will go with two different colored dirt traps is just because if just in case if Nick comes out here, Joey comes out here and they tell me they want to help me wash the car, I always tell them, hey, the black dirt trap can be for your rinse bucket, the green dirt trap can be for your wash bucket or vice versa, whatever you want to color coordinate it. So whenever you insert a dirt trap, we always recommend inserting them at a 90 degree angle and then pushing down to the bottom of it because if you do not do it at a 90 degree angle or at an angle, it's going to cause an air bubble at the bottom and whenever you're washing, it might rise back up. So that, that's a pro technique. Insert it at an angle, push it out at the bottom, like that you cause a permanent seal. Now it's just very simple to choose which is going to be your wash bucket and which is going to be your rinse bucket. I always choose my left hand side bucket to be my rinse bucket and my right hand side bucket to be my wash bucket. Anyways guys, now that this is my wash bucket, it is time to insert soap. So I'll grab my sticky snowball, I'll add one ounce, and all of this is just going to do is just going to add extra cleaning power so whenever I come back with my big noodle wash mitt and I sink it at the bottom of the dirt trap, it's going to lather up more with high suds. Even though I already have suds on the surface of the vehicle, I want more suds because keep this in mind, over 90% of scratches and swirls actually come from improper washing. But by doing this washing technique, whether you're washing with a Foam Blaster 6 or a Torque Big Mouth Max Foam Cannon, this is going to be the best way to achieve a scratch-free wash every single time. Anyways guys, now it is just time to grab my Torx Snubby, rinse on the surface of the vehicle just to knock off any loose grime and debris. I doubt there's going to be a lot coming off because this vehicle does get daily driven and the owner actually told us he has not washed in the past six months and I believe him. I mean, if I come close, there's legit dirt, grime, debris sitting on here. If you guys look at the roof, the roof has seen way better days. The car is black, but it looks brown. That is just how filthy the ride is. Up front, if you guys look very closely, there's a lot of dirt, grime, debris. There's someone that has been touching the vehicle and over time, if you do see a dirty car on the road in a parking lot, a lot of people think it's cool to write, wash me. Don't be that person because you might scratch the surface of the ride, whether it's glass, paint, paint. Keep this in mind, it's very sensitive, so do not write on your car when it's dirty. Anyways guys, now there's time to rinse on the surface of the vehicle. I'll activate the suds, I'll foam up the ride, and then we'll get into the fun part using the big noodle wash mitt. Let's get started. All right guys, so I just finished rinsing on the surface of the vehicle and I want you guys to come close. I mean, just by rinsing on the surface of the vehicle, you guys can see the dirt, grime, debris that is actually sitting on the surface of the vehicle did not come off even the bird droppings. So this is why we always recommend just doing a light rinse. And then this is why we're gonna go to a sticky snowball because we want a soap that's actually going to cling hard onto the surface and it helps me reduce scratches and swirls and remove all that gunk. Anyways guys, let's get foaming. All right guys, check out the amazing foam that Sticky Snowball produced on this Toyota Prius. The Prius is black, but the foam lathered it up so much that it turned white. And keep this in mind, we live in sunny California where the sun is beaming and we are foaming outside and you guys can see how hard Sticky Snowball is actually sticking onto dirt and grime. So now it is just the fun part, time to scrub. So I'll get my Torx Snubby, I'll get my pressure washer tip, I'll activate my studs and I'll get my big noodle wash mitt and I'll get right into washing. So spray away just to make sure my pressure washer tip is always on. Come to my wash bucket, activate the sud. 
get touched into suds. Now I'll get my big noodle wash mitt. I'll insert it on the elastic band. I'll sink it at the bottom and just check out how big the big noodle wash mitt and how much suds it actually holds on it. So I'll grab some suds. Now I'll go to the highest point of the vehicle and I'll start scrubbing. And whenever you scrub a vehicle, whether it is white, black, orange, green, you always want to ensure yourself that you are scrubbing your vehicle in linear motions because if you do not cause, if you do not go in linear motions, you might cause scratches and swirls because all the dirt, grime, debris that is sitting on the survey vehicle. I mean, just check out the noodle is aqua color, but just check out how much dirt and filth is actually on there. So one thing I could do, I could come back to my rinse bucket and start rinsing it off. But a pro tip also is just flip it over to the other side, to the clean side, and go back and scrub the other part with the clean side. Like this, you get two passes in between washes, and if your vehicle is super dirty, we always recommend doing this process around the whole entire vehicle. If your vehicle is well maintenance and does not have that much dirt or filth, then you could just go back and forth and sink it in your clean water. But as you guys can see, in my clean water, I am scrubbing at the bottom of the dirt trap. And then once I am done, I'll take off the elastic band, wring it out, inspect it, and continue with the wash. So guys, now it's time for you guys to sit back, relax, and enjoy me scrubbing this Toyota Prius, and just wait till that results after because these results are going to be amazing. Anyways guys, let's get scrubbing. All right guys, so we just finished drying the surface of the vehicle using the Woolly Mammoth. It did an amazing job at removing all the water away from the surface of the vehicle. But let me just give you guys a heads up on this. We had to start off with step number one, which is going to be a wash. But after washing it, we saw that the paint is not in the best condition. I mean, there's going to be scratches, swirls, much more sitting on the surface of the vehicle. But I would take this result any day from how dirty it was to now how it looks. And now it looks black, the paint is still not all there. But remember, we're gonna be doing a full on series from the exterior to the interior. And as always, if you guys wanna pick up any of these products that I use today in this video, from foam cannons to soaps, to two buckets, to Torx Nubby, or even our brand new Chanel Big Noodle wash mitt, you can hop onto our website right now, camerguys.com, or stop by your local detail garage. I recommend you do so, it's a detailer's paradise. And before I forget, don't forget to detail in style with the Camel Guys hat. As always, I'm Henry. Thank you for sharing your passion for shine with Camel Guys, and we'll see you guys next time right here at the Chemical Guys Detail Garage.